Praxis and I'm here on site doing a little bit of prep work for these greenhouse areas. Everything on the outside is ready and I'm still waiting to hear back from the contractor about when they're going to come back and do the perimeter drain. But in the meantime, might as well keep moving. And one thing that I need to do is to finish up the inside of these greenhouse walls. Uh, these greenhouses are going to have plants, obviously, dirt, things of that nature. So this area could be kind of humid. So what I want to do is uh, to treat these walls, uh, like this one here, with uh, a, a, a water seal. So that, you know, we're not getting you know, moisture going into the, the house area. Even though there's a roof over this, like I said, there's going to be water in here. In fact, this hole right up here is a pass-through for gray water uh, that's going to bring gray water uh, from the bathrooms out into the greenhouse area. So I want to seal these areas up. This wall right here uh, is actually going to have uh, two layers of pink foam on it because that's going into the living space. But even this wall back here I plan on putting some seal on because I don't want this wall getting wet and then kind of wicking uh, into the corner over there into the living space and bringing moisture and humidity over there So I've got my asphalt sealer here. I'm going to be applying it with a paint roller the last time I did a homestead uh, You know 15 years ago at my last place. I, I looked at the side of these, uh, you know, these big jugs of asphalt sealer and The picture on the side of them looks like the person's putting it on with like what looks like a bristle brush so I bought myself a bristle brush and it was terrible. It didn't work at all. It, it just kind of scratched along the surface. I ended up taking my shirt off and using my shirt to put all the, uh, the asphalt seal in the house. I was filthy afterwards. So this time I wanted to do a little better and I'm going to be using this paint roller. So far it's been working out really well. And the way that I do it is I dip it in about halfway. Actually this one slipped in so it's got a little extra. I dip it in about halfway and then I give it a flip to have it roll down in the other direction and then start at the top and I go down. And by starting at the top and going down, you prevent it from doing a bunch of dripping off the edge as it goes down. So just kind of do that. And I'm only going up part way on this wall, just up to here, just up to the, where the dirt line is going to be, you know, probably around there or so. And just bringing them down like that. Now I noticed this morning when I opened these up that they were really thick. And I was wondering why are they so thick? Are they getting old or something like that? And then I realized it's because it's cool. It's a little bit earlier right now than I have been doing this. So the, uh, these buckets had they'd not been sitting in the sun and, uh, and getting warm. And as the uh, asphalt gets warmer, it gets thinner. And in my opinion, a little bit easier to apply. But it's all right now. It's not a big thing. So that's it. This wall, that wall, and then mirror image on the other side. That's it. Thanks for watching.